Welcome to our classroom. You ready to learn? You ready to learn? You're gonna learn You're today. Gonna learn today. my channel here is where I make easy vegan meals and help you with your transition into a plant-based lifestyle and also just make mo videos for entertainment not movies I don't do movies um, yet short movies well um, I'm back movies. yeah this is my third cameo on Sam's channel <laughs> I'm moving into the channel yes yep moved into my heart now moving into the channel and we also have some snacks to snack on while we talk about why we went vegan um, pastel x coco we'll tag them mm -hmm. look at this like being vegan you literally don't miss out on anything anything these are nope. so delicious and we ate most of this we showed it in a previous video but this ganache tart oh baby oh and we got a blueberry scone mm -hmm. who doesn't love a good freaking scone Go. Those are really good. Woo. I love scones. Which is mm. so good. I know. Oh my god. <gasps> Macaroni in the pot. That's a wrap. First question. What made you go vegan? More this thing. Growing up, <laughs> I never really enjoyed meat. I would eat chicken fingers and cheese. And that was basically it. My parents would cook me. And they would, I would be the one sitting at the table that wasn't allowed to leave until their food was done. And I remember thinking like, this is a cow. This is a duck. This is gross. I didn't want to eat it. So growing up, I never really was into it. And then when I was in Thailand with my ex, Matt, remember him? Mm -hmm. We were traveling and we were eating these like chicken kind of burgers and everyone was getting really sick. Looking around, we're on a really small island in Thailand. And I was like, I don't see any freaking chickens. What I see is cats and dogs. And it was like meat that I've never seen before in my life. So I'm like, we're eating cats and dogs. Like that's literally what it is. Like that's what I thought. So right then and there, I decided to go vegan for the rest of the trip. In an airport on the way back home, I started watching documentaries online about veganism and learned about how bad it was for the planet. And I was like, holy, it was like my eyes were open to like this new world that I didn't even know existed because mm -hmm. you're just kept so in the dark. I felt so lied to. And I was like, I've been drinking so much milk. I've been eating so much cheese. I eat so much chicken. This is so gross, not only for my own health, the way the animals are treated, the way what it's doing to the planet, animal agriculture. I was like flabbergasted and I decided right then and there to go cold turkey vegan. And wow. over the year that followed, I would get drunk and I would eat like poutine or pizza, no meat, but I would always like have like a pizza pocket when I was drunk or wake up and I would have a poutine and I'd be like, I would wake up and it would be there. And I'm like, damn it, like I got so drunk, I didn't remember eating it. That only happened for the first few months of when I transitioned. And then since then, completely cold turkey. Good for you. I feel like it's a transition for a lot of people that aren't able yeah, to do it right Yeah, I just, I couldn't because I learned so much about, it wasn't even the meat industry only, it was also the dairy. It's what they do to the cows, what they do to the baby cows. They what, separate the babies yeah. and then the babies end up going into becoming veal or slaughterhouses or sometimes they're just killed because they're a waste. Yeah, and like if you're, I feel like one of these cords is going to strike home for you. If you care about the planet, if you care about yourself, or if you care about animals, like one of those three things, if you research enough about each individual thing, you'll go vegan. Like for me, it's all three, but each one of those things should be enough for so to, for someone to be convinced mm -hmm. to go vegan. Like how bad it is for you, disgusting. How bad it is for the planet, disgusting. What it does to the animals, disgusting. So all three of those factors like play a massive role in why I'm vegan. And you just have to find what strikes home for you. Like a lot of people say like, I love the taste of meat too much. Okay, but well, you do, but how do you feel about yourself? You don't care about animals that much? Okay, but do you care about the planet? Mm -hmm. You don't care about the planet? Okay, do you care about your own personal health? Mm -hmm. It's like one of those things is gonna strike home and if none of those do, then that sucks. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you're gonna live a very unfulfilled life. Like once you go vegan, you feel so much more fulfilled. It's A couple slaughterhouse videos are usually enough to make almost anyone go vegetarian. Yeah. Like you just yeah. can have so much sympathy for those animals walking yeah. into those things. And yeah. it's just so sad. Like yeah. they don't want to die. And especially the ones with the babies, like the baby animals, like it's just, I avoid watching slaughterhouse videos. I've only seen a few, mm -hmm. but I avoid it. Cause I don't, I don't want to hate people who eat me. <laughs> And I have to not watch it because if I watch that stuff, I'm not going to be able to go on a date and a guy to order me and me being there sitting on the date, like looking at him eating it. Like it just, it can't. Like I thought I would only date a vegan and I usually date people who aren't vegan and then I like to transition them. My ex went vegan for me, not Harry, but the one before I went vegan. Yeah. And I made all my friends go vegan, my roommates. 
they both eat meat and now they're both vegan. I don't know if the one that I don't live with anymore is, but mm -hmm. Hyani doesn't eat meat anymore. She doesn't eat cheese. I've posted a couple slaughterhouse videos on my Instagram and I've had people message me saying, I want to go vegetarian. I want to go vegan. Like, tell me what to do. And that's part of the reason I made this channel was because I want to help people make that transition yeah. and be able to make a seamless transition into a plant-based lifestyle. Like, ideally, I'd like to have a meal plan so that it's easy for people to just do it because yeah, like, you should. Yeah. Yeah, you should. Yeah, I'd have to find a nutritionist who wanted to work with me because I don't want to be like, hey, like, I don't want to make you sick. You won't get sick anyways, but I don't want to be in trouble. Yeah. But the reason I went vegan was actually partly because of you. I was vegetarian for 18 years. And then you were posting Erin Ireland on your story. I'll link Erin Ireland below. An Instagrammer. And then I watched... Activist. Yeah. Mom. Vegan entrepreneur. Business chef. owner. Chef. Yeah. And so she started posting stuff about what the dairy industry did. I actually have family that owns dairy farms. And like, it's really awkward now going to family events and stuff. Because they see everything I post. And I know they're probably annoyed about it. I didn't make the connection that the dairy industry actually gives their animals to the meat industry. Yeah. They have regulations on how much pus can be in your milk mm. like how much pus mm -hmm. who wants to eat cow tip pus not me mm. i don't want to do that i don't want cow tip milk almost grosses me out more than meat yeah meat for some reason if i'm on a date and a guy orders this would never happen but if i was on a date and a guy ordered a glass of milk Did a glass of milk, milk. <laughs> if someone ordered a glass of milk i would be like we're not guessing. <laughs> I have to go. And I'm never going to talk to you ever again. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Imagine. Yeah. But like, it's weird because guys put cream in their coffee and it's not seen as bad. But like, mm -hmm. <laughs> check. Yeah. Yeah. I was actually going to say one of my friends, he was like, you know, if aliens ever came to Earth, the one thing that they would be so weirded out by is the dairy industry. Like we create milk, we could literally just be drinking human's milk and it would theoretically be less weird than yeah. taking it from an animal. There's this Netflix documentary called Unwell and there's one of it about breast milk and these bodybuilders are paying these moms for their breast milk to, to bulk up as like protein, but your mom's milk is like specifically made for the baby. So if you're not the baby and you're drinking it, it doesn't really have the same effects. The same effects, and it's kind of bad for you. There, It's the documentary. It's called Unwell, for whoever who wants to watch it. It's literally disgusting. And, like, there's a, such a breast milk shortage in the world of kids who are adopted who need breast milk, but these bodybuilders are buying them off Craigslist. It's disgusting. It, you need to watch it. It's gross. It's oh gross God. to think, like, tip milk. Like, I get it, but, like, these guys that are drinking this breast milk don't realize if you switch to a plant-based diet and did it properly and got the right proteins, you would excel. Like mm -hmm. yeah. every athlete that goes plant-based, the Pre only thing, lactic acid, yeah, the only thing they said, say is like how better, how much better they are after switching to that diet. So mm -hmm. watch Game Changers. Game Changers is really good. If you have a like man in your life and you want to like get him to just see how well you can thrive on plant-based diets, that's a great one. Maybe I should it? make Jeff watch Game Changers. Yeah, because they even talk about I don't know that I can say Yes. That. And uh, how you actually... The more meat you eat, the softer your is going to be. This is literally proven. Guys that are young with their it's literally directly related to their diet. And it's good for your heart health too. Yeah. But for older men and stuff, like my dad watched Game Changers and he's... He basically grew up on pasta and meat and like that was it. Same. And <laughs> yeah, and Italians. Yeah, my yeah. dad's Italian. So, um, but now I see him making food and he doesn't have the meat anymore. Like my parents have been really, my brother's been vegetarian for a while. He wow. like he switches back and forth. My dad goes vegan every Lent and he put a bunch of plant-based options on his menu at his restaurants. They like always oh, have veggie yeah. burgers. Like my parents are really good with it. Like they've realize like they thought that when i went vegan it was just like a phase mm -hmm. but now it's been like seven years so they're like all right mm -hmm. and my mom's so great every time i go home she goes to the grocery store she sends me like all these photos of all the stuff that she's gonna buy she stocks the house with all this vegan stuff for me it's great and your mom's the sweetest yeah it would be hard to not have a supportive family behind you especially like if you're living at home or mm -hmm. if you're if you're at home a lot because when they go home all they do is chirp you but it's weird. It feels like living in a really bad episode of Black Mirror. It's like the people who aren't eating animals and like causing harm to other people are exiled and made fun of and consistently berated, even though we're 
clearly healthy like and we're doing better for the planet yeah and but everyone else is considered the norm so nobody berates them it feels backwards to me like why is the fact that i don't want to hurt animals i think people? our grandkids maybe not our grandkids but our great great grandkids are gonna look up at us and be like who the hell raised these people mm -hmm. to eat like this like we're already starting to look at our what our grandparents did with like the meat and dairy but do you know how the meat and dairy start? How the animal agriculture business basically started? Do you no. know hearing about that? This lady, she had a chicken farm. I might not do the facts completely right, but she had a chicken farm. And instead of ordering like 50 chicks, she ordered 500. And so they all came delivered. Whatever, let's just sell them. And then it created literally factory farming overnight. And then everyone was ordering like thousands and thousands. And then it just became this massive industry. And then the fast food industry as well. So it was like a chance of luck that this happened. But how did your body react to veganism? Oh, this one's a good one. Mm -hmm. Mine has been blessed. Everyone mm -hmm. always asks me how I stay thin. And I, it's just being vegan. Yeah, that's literally it. Like mm -hmm. I don't work out that much right now because of COVID. Gym's being closed. Being vegan literally changed my life, I think. Like I just stay thin. I don't have to worry about what I'm eating. I don't gain weight. And when I first went vegan, I lost like all my body fat as well. Oh, wow. Yeah. See, I had a little bit of the opposite reaction when I first, first went vegan. I gained a little bit of weight, but that's because I was only making food with a lot of fat and a lot of carbs. But then really shortly after, I think like two months after, it ended up kind of dropping off because I was, wasn't was making really, really fatty meals trying to compensate. It just makes you feel good. Like even when you do eat badly, you don't feel super no. guilty. When I first went, we went vegan, all I had was tofu and veggie ground. And it was mm. so bad. I remember the first time I tried veggie ground, my mom gave it to me and I thought it tasted like dog food. I had put an entire can of tomato sauce in it to try and make it taste good. And it still tasted like dog food. Yeah. Ugh. Great, all I can eat is vegetables. But now there's vegan burger joints. There's vegan oh everything. God. There's veggie grill. There's yeah. vegan creme brulee. Everything you could ever want, there's a vegan alternative for. So Drawing. why bother mm -hmm. eating pieces of animals and drinking their cow tits when you don't need to? Like every grocery store has vegan stuff. I need to make Jeff go vegan. Maybe uh, one day. I don't, He'll turn eventually. Something else I noticed was I don't get sleep in my eyes anymore. When I wake up, I used to get little whatevers. I don't have any of that. Weird. Mm -hmm. I have yeah. a little bit, but not a lot. Mm -hmm. Like minor, like minor. Yeah. It, um, I'm trying to think of what other little things happen. I did notice that when I injure myself, it does heal a little quicker. Mm -hmm. You're less tired. Yes, I'm definitely less tired. I if you get a vegan milkshake instead of a regular milkshake, you know how like after a milkshake it just kind of makes you feel like really sluggish. Mm -hmm. The vegan one you feel full, but you don't feel slow. I never, down. I never feel sluggish after I eat. Like we just yeah. ate like four pastries each and like two tacos and i'm like that's true i have so much energy like i'm so yeah. full but i have so much energy and after you eat like a think about after thanksgiving when you have turkey and dairy and potatoes you're just Ugh. yeah like i could eat everything that's vegan and i'm full but i'm like let's go for let's run, do guys. the wop <laughs> you did the i did the yeah. wop like 10 times today <laughs> yeah. go to my tiktok it's probably posted <laughs> if you're wondering about her bruised knees it's from yeah the my knee oh, see funny. my i have nimble vegan knees Yep. I wouldn't be able to do that if I wasn't vegan. Mm -hmm. Nimble. And look up like old people who are vegan. They look pretty good. I haven't stretched in, since I did gymnastics when I was 16 and I can still do the splits. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't tried. Right, baby. Oh, I can Aww. still do the splits. I noticed that I was a little bit gassy at first when I first, first went vegan, but that went away really quick. Like my body just adjusted to all the extra fiber it was getting. <laughs> <laughs> it, it makes, for me, it made me more regular. So I was waiting for Romy to make his cameo. He's just an extension of your jacket. We already answered this, but were you tired? Because a lot of people are nervous to go vegan because they're- You have to have a B12 get... supplement. The past few months, I've been a little bit more anemic because when I was in LA, before I got settled, I was eating more like out and I wasn't really cooking. So I became anemic, but just gotta take iron supplements or B12. But realistically, I feel like people that are on dairy and meat diets, they have so many more supplements. They're like, they're vitamin C, vitamin D, zinc, fiber. Like they're all, like when people are on a meat and dairy diet, they're like, well, how do you get your iron? It's like, okay. How do you Kale. get every other vitamin? Spinach. Yeah, but we obviously do. But it's like, you're concerned about what, how we get our vitamins. How are you getting yours? Yeah. Are you eating vegetables? Are you eating fruit? Like, no, mm -hmm. that's all we're eating. Mm -hmm. So obviously we're getting, it's hard to get B12 because the only way you can get B12 is from, it's from meat. dirt. Yeah, yeah dirt. But, so, but the only yeah. way that humans get B12 is not even from the animal itself. It's from 
the animal eating the bacteria in the grass. The crops or whatever, they're seasoned and they're, the bacteria is killed. So the B12 that you're getting from the animal isn't even good. It, it is good to get your B12 and iron tested when you're vegan, but if you are lacking it, just take a supplement. It's not that hard. Everyone's supplementing on a non-vegan diet anyways. They're taking all these other pills, fish oils, all this stuff. So you can take a B12 and you're fine. What vitamins do you take? Um, I don't take B12 because I eat a lot of nutritional yeast. Mm, I put okay. that on everything. When I got tested for it, my B12 was like 300%. Oh, wow. So yeah. I eat a lot of nutritional yeast and it's also delicious. It tastes like craft Dinner mix. Mm. Very like powder cheesy. Yeah. And I'm just iron deficient. So I just take iron supplements. I take a vitamin C and sometimes cranberry pills. Gut health? Nope. Or what is my it? Vagina health. health. <laughs> vitamin C and cranberry for women's health. <laughs> and just iron supplements i take daily vitamin b12 and iron but iron actually absorbs a lot better if you take it with uh, vitamin c so which you do oh, perfect perfect but, perfect yeah. i do that okay sweet i was really iron deficient for a little while when i first moved to bc but then i started having lemon water first thing in the morning with my iron pill mm -hmm. and i did it again at night so morning and night half a lemon with iron and i kid you not my iron went up by 300 percent I forget what the exact number was, but when I went back to my doctor, she was like, your number was what? So yeah. vitamin C, I really like lemons because, you know, it's just kind of right from the source. And then with an iron pill. Yeah, being iron deficient, it sucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it sucks. You're really tired. It is hard on some people's stomachs because it can hurt your stomach if you eat it on its own. But when I had it with lemon water, I didn't need food with it because it I broke it down. I never eat food with it. I just take it in the morning. Yeah. So some people, yeah. it's more sensitive. But take try it with lemon water because... Yeah. If you're ever things. feeling sluggish on a vegan diet, it's definitely iron or B12. If you eat a bowl of rice mm -hmm. a day, you're getting enough protein. Oh, wow. Yeah. There's no such thing as protein deficiency. Oh, it's when people ask where I get my protein. It's... People think that there's this godforsaken thing about protein. There's not. It's mm. literally not true. I don't supplement protein. I don't do anything. You Protein, no. You're iron deficient. Mm -hmm. You you don't have enough vitamin C in your diet. You don't have enough zinc. You don't have enough fiber. Protein deficiency is not a thing, people. <laughs> like, uh, someone asked me where I'm protein. I'm like, yeah, where do you get all your vitamins? Will you ever go back to eating meat? No. So, I got a tattoo yeah. last week. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it was a plant-based symbol because i'm gonna be plant-based forever and it disappeared i got it the same day i got this and it it literally you can kind of see it it literally disappeared look and everyone's like maybe it's because you're not meant to be vegan you can kind of see it Aww. but i'm gonna get it redone of course but i cannot believe it's like gone like look it's gone. <laughs> if that answers your question, I am always going to be vegan. Good. You? That's great. I am I could never go back. Honestly. My kids are going to be vegan. Mine too. Yeah. Yeah. I, after watching Slaughterhouse videos, I'll never be able to justify going back. Even dairy. I feel too great now to ever go back to eating dairy. I see my family, you know, eating meat and cheese and becoming overweight or obese and having heart problems and all these things that I don't experience and I don't ever want to have to deal mm -hmm. with that. And like, I wish so much that I could be able to get them to want to transition mm -hmm. because I know they would feel so much better. But unfortunately you can't make someone mm -hmm. change. There was a study where they took like 90 ca cancer patients that were on the 10 out of 10 scale of like about to pass away. I don't know what the number is, like gonna die yeah. on their deathbeds. And this doctor came in and took the, made them all raw vegans. And in a month, their cancer was like disappearing and they are, they like all live. This isn't mm. a documentary. Mm. It was either What the Health or Conspiracy, I think. One of those. Mm. They literally took these people that were like dying. And there's so many stories about that. You hear this from someone like asthma and diabetes and all this stuff. They can't even walk down the street. And then they go plant-based for two weeks. And all of a sudden, their numbers are lowering. They can walk. They can breathe again. They don't need their ventilators. They don't need their medication. It's like yeah. crazy what the diet can do. But you know what? We can say how we feel, but you have to try it for yourself to, to see these benefits. And honestly, you will. Like if you can get past the placebo effect of not having the foods that you're used to, you'll We're vegan better. and we're thriving. I've been vegan for seven years and I'm fucking thriving, people. <laughs> I am thriving. Yeah. And I don't go to the gym. I work out, but like home workouts. I don't. Yeah. And I'm thriving. So if that's any indication of what this diet can do to you, then that's all I gotta say about that. Is anyone ever mean about you being vegan? So I'm gonna say 
when I was in high school, I've been vegetarian for 18 years. I literally had kids like throw meat across the like lunch table and stuff. And it would like hit me. Like I've had to deal with so many people be mean to me about my vegetarianism. And honestly, it's just made me want to do it even more. Yeah, true. When people mm -hmm. are mean to me, I'm just like, you're disgusting. And I, I, hate I, you. I dated this guy and he would tell me stuff like, oh, you have to respect me for eating meat. And I was like, I never said that I didn't. Like, I just make vegan food. What else did he say? He would always talk about how much he loved bacon and steak and stuff around me. And then I called him out one time after a couple shots. Why do you keep doing this? Like, this is not nice. And then he just kind of was quiet. How old are you? See you. Um, how old are you? Yeah. Mm. Not mature enough. Yeah. That's like a person who doesn't celebrate Christmas mm -hmm. being to a person that does celebrate Christmas. Oh, Santa, all oh, presents. Yeah. Just because I celebrate Christmas, vegan, and yeah. you don't, meat eater, doesn't mm -hmm. mean you need to throw shit at me every day. Like, we don't, I don't, I don't throw vegetables at you. I don't throw carrots at your head. Mm -hmm. Why are you going to taunt me for it? I'm doing better by the environment, better by myself, and better by the animals. I don't understand. People like that are just so stupid. Like, it makes no sense. Like, I'm doing good. That's like making fun of someone who recycles. Yeah, exactly. And I was just like, this or who is really drives awful. an electric car, and <laughs> or who walks to places instead of driving. Mm -hmm. Why make fun of that person? They're doing good. We don't like those people. No. We don't like them. Oh, and guys will be so cool about and our vaginas taste better and smell better. Yep, Cheers. less uh, better pH balance. Um, he was so cool about it to begin with, but then after words when it wasn't really working out he was like posting pictures of steak and stuff on his social media and this is like a really common thing i'm in a couple of vegan threads and people who date someone will pretend that they're totally cool with their diet and then just use it against you afterwards yeah so when harry and i broke up okay yeah he did it to you too he oh. told me that <laughs> oh, he God. was he was spiting me so when we broke up he was eating more meat he would eat meat and be like this girl and he would literally eat all this stuff i'm like who does that benefit? Nobody. It doesn't even be it doesn't even benefit you. How is it dating? That's two more questions. How is it dating um vegan men or like men who oh, are vegan? Oh, when people are vegan, I automatically bond with them and I'm like we're yeah. best friends. Um I've never really like, dated someone who's vegan before you minus my ex, but I haven't dated someone. I actually I was hanging out with a guy in Vancouver who was vegan. He was nice. And he was a lot of fun, but mm -hmm. I just wasn't feeling it, but I just kept doing it cuz he was vegan. I'm like this is literally amazing it's so much easier being friends with people and dating people who are vegan you get excited about finding like vegan donuts you're like let's go stuff. eat together <laughs> less judgment and like when you meet someone who is vegan you can already assume that they are somewhat compassionate well because a lot of the time it does have to do with animals mm -hmm. or the environment and you have to think about something other than just yourself they're empathetic yeah which a lot of my exes have lacked empathy yeah 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 oh yeah mm -hmm. yeah i guess that's it and then what do you think of vegan men um, vegan men vegan are, are sexy, mm -hmm. so hot. Mm -hmm. You could be a, you could be literally you could be a four and you're vegan and you're a ten. That's it. Yeah. And if you're a ten and you're a vegan, off the charts. Wife me. <laughs> Wife <Yes>. me. <laughs> I also love guys with dogs. If a guy yeah. has a dog, it just makes him a better person. Jeff has a dog, and you watch them be a dad to this little thing, and I you're know. like pregnant me right now <laughs> yeah. i'm pregnant just watching you yeah caring people are just so much better like when someone's caring about an animal or about anything you're just like well that is why we are vegan mm -hmm. um hopefully you can check out some of the videos and see a vegan meal that you want to try and you can see how delicious they are um and if you want to make the switch to a plant-based lifestyle then or let me know what kind of or videos subscribe you want to make. so you can see her cooking and it's really easy your recipes are always so easy don't forget to like comment subscribe and check out francesca frago's channel i'll link it below and her instagram and my instagram and her bathing suits that are amazing all right well all thanks right. for watching thanks bye guys, for watching, guys.